is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Cooking Without Looking TV show. I'm Alan Preston. Yes, you are. Hello, Alan, and everybody else out there. I'm Annette Watkins. <laughs> Today, we're taking a deep dive into handy, accessible kitchen appliances, which are great if you're blind, visually impaired, low vision, or even are a sighted person. I have a whole kitchen full of them. I love them. That's great, Alan. Um, and also, you're going to meet a world class rehabilitation specialist for the US government. He trains people um, all over regarding his appliances um, who are blind and visually impaired. These appliances are accessible and easy to use. That's the best part. Alan? Today's show is special because we're running a Cooking Without Looking TV show apron fundraiser. If you would like a chance to win one of our official aprons, just go to our website now at www.cookingwithoutlookingtv.wordpress.com and click on the Vision World Foundation link at the top of the page, Annette. Yeah, and you can easily donate um amount to uh, get into the running for the apron, the apron prize and help us at our mission to change the way we see blindness, Alan. All Cooking Without Looking TV show guests and even you and I, Annette, are blind or visually impaired, Annette. Yes, we are. So without further ado, let's meet today's guest, Bill Bolas. Hi, Bill, how are you? Hey, how are you? I'm uh, a little out of place. I'm not in a rehab office today. I'm, I'm in my kitchen and uh, we're going to be demoing some really fun stuff here today that people can use. Uh, so I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Great. It's awesome to have you with us. I'm so excited. Please tell us about a little bit about yourself, Bill, and your blindness. So I have RP. Uh, I was born visually impaired with a significant visual impairment. Um, I've been a kid or I was a kid who uh, went to public school and I had um, teachers that were teachers of the visually impaired that helped me. Uh, we basically, you know, taught me how to learn Braille later on, taught me how to use computers. Um, it was it was a, a interesting experience growing up visually impaired. And then uh, later in life, I, I lost a lot more of my vision. So I still have some usable vision, but it, it's, you know, I can't read print or see photos or anything like that. So um, it, it's, it's, it's an experience for sure. So uh, yeah, that, that's, that's me. And what I do is I work uh, with people who are losing their eyesight or have lost their eyesight very quickly, uh, sometimes even very tragically. And what we do is uh, help people get back to at least the life that that they were living uh, before vision loss, and and we try to do that in a way that uh, teaches people accessibility, teaches people uh, things to help build confidence, and you know I think we do it really well. So, yes, you sound very very excited about it, and you know it's just tragic that you lost your vision and it progressively got worse. But you said there was a time where you you had some vision and then you lost it. So you're able to get some images in your mind of some things, right? Absolutely. Uh, so I'm, I'm very lucky. There are people that have, you know, never been able to, to see. And when I say I'm very lucky, I mean, I'm, I'm lucky to be able to kind of understand the world in, in both ways. Like as a, as a person who had some usable vision, who kind of, you know, made it through and was able to understand, you know, things how they physically look and, and you know in, in terms of like your environment and stuff um and then also you know after losing a lot more of my vision uh how to do things non-visually so i was kind of prepared for for both because with rp um it, it's retinitis pigmentosa they they kind of anticipated that i would uh lose some more vision so so they they kind of got me started early so i was very lucky 
Right. Does it run in your family or do they know what caused it or anything? It does not. And I have not gone to, to figure out what caused it or where it came from or anything like that. But no, it does not run in my family. None of my uh, parents, grandparents, uncles, aunts, you know, uh, across the board, no one, no one has this. So um, it, it definitely came from somewhere. And eventually I think I may go to, to figure out, you know, genetically, uh, you know, where it came from, but I haven't done that just yet. Well, Bill, you've been so busy helping many people with these wonderful appliances. You haven't had time to look at the genetics of that. So as long as you're, you seem very cope, being coped with this very well in your life, um, we're excited for you to show us these accessible appliances and which will make life in the kitchen just a bit easier for a lot of people. And um, I understand that your first um, one is the um, Toshiba Microwave. Can you yes. tell us a little bit and discuss the way that works and all the good stuff about it? Absolutely. So if you're able to see your screen, uh, the Tavala, the um, Toshiba microwave is, is, is on screen right now. It's to my left. Uh, okay. If you're not able to, I'm going to give you a quick description. So this is a, a large size microwave. Uh, the controls of it are on the right hand panel so on the on the on the right hand side on the front of the microwave there is a screen on it small one but it's not a touch screen so anything you do on this thing uh you can do with your voice by using your amazon echo device uh it is uh amazon echo enabled i'm not going to say her name because then everybody's micro everybody's uh, echo is going to chime in at the same time so right. you're it, you're we call her the a lady right so your a lady uh this microwave is enabled with your a lady there are buttons on the front uh that we have three rows of two so so left and right and then center row left and right buttons and then bottom row left and right buttons uh there's also a dial on the bottom like a knob it looks like a like an old school like radio knob you know, if you remember like what radios look like back in the day, that large round knob that you could turn to raise and lower the volume. Um, so there's a knob right at the bottom of this thing. In the center of the knob is your start button. All right. And that's that's all the buttons that are on here for the the panel. Um, again, you can start and stop this microwave with your voice. And I'm gonna demonstrate that a little bit later in the show when we cook some frozen vegetables in this microwave, All right? So it is it is made by Toshiba. You can get it pretty much anywhere online. Amazon's got them. Um, it's a little bit expensive for a microwave. It's about $200, maybe a little bit more, like 220. Uh, you can get it if it's a if you have it in your area. Amazon has a thing called Amazon Warehouse. Uh, you can save some money by getting it on Amazon Warehouse. It still has the same warranty that the brand new one would have. Um, so you can you can check out Amazon Warehouse to see if they have them at the time that you're looking to buy. Um, also, at the very bottom of this microwave is a is a large button, very tactile. You can feel it. Uh, you can press this button and it will open the door of the microwave, all right? On, on the inside of the microwave is, is your traditional uh, base plate that kind of rotates as the microwave is cooking. Um, and it allows you to, uh, to do the, um, it, it allows you to cook on all sides of, of whatever you're cooking. So it'll, it'll heat it up properly. Um, on the Echo, we're gonna demonstrate it in just a little while, but on the Echo, uh, you can tell it to microwave on high. You can tell it to microwave on like medium. You can tell it how much time you want it to, to microwave for. Um, so a lot of this is controlled by your voice. If you want to cook popcorn, for example, you can tell your A lady uh, that you want to microwave popcorn, right? So there's there's very cool features built into this that you can actually use with your voice. And that makes this thing very accessible. So uh, it's got a lot of features to it that I think are very useful to people. All right. Number one, it is large in size. It's not a mini microwave. It's not one of the ones that you would get for a dorm room. Uh, it's a large microwave, which is good, even if you're one person, right? Because you can cook more than one item or you can reheat more than one item at the same time. 
Uh, and if not, if you're just cooking for one person, like a small meal, or if you're doing like one of those, uh, um, you know, lean cuisine type things, you can actually cook it just fine. Uh, even though the microwave is large, it's still going to do its job. So, so it's great. It's better to have a larger one than it is to have, you know, the medium or the smaller ones in most cases, because, uh, you'll be able to do a lot more with it as far as reheating and cooking and stuff like that. Uh, the second reason why this is great and accessible is the fact that there are pushable tactile buttons on it that help this microwave work. Uh, you can also, there's enough space in between them if you want to put labels like bump dots or braille labels, you can, you can do that. There's enough space in between these buttons where you can easily put Dymo tape, uh, you can use puff paint, you can use anything that helps you mark the buttons that you want. And again, there's only six buttons, right? So uh, you, can, you can do that on your own. The dial near the bottom, uh, it's a large button, very tactile, very easy to, to grab and very easy to use. Start button in the middle is large as well. So anybody with any type of like dexterity issues, if you, if you have uh, uh, diabetic retinopathy or anything like that, you're still able to, to feel these buttons and there's enough space between them where you won't hit the wrong one and you can actually mark them properly, all right? So I think that's great. And the third reason obviously should be the first reason, but you can actually use this thing with your voice. Um, it's it's A-Lady enabled. So if you have one of those Amazon devices, it will work great with it. So there you go. Those those are the the big deals uh, and, and, you know, characteristics to this very accessible microwave. That's amazing. How come we haven't heard about this sooner? How long has this been out? And is it marketed to the visually impaired and the textile um, problems that people might have as well? No, it's not marketed to the visually impaired, which is which is actually a, a positive feature. Not I'm not trying to you know bring down our community of people, but the truth is when you have microwaves that are built this way. Uh, they work for everyone together, right? So you don't have to be visually impaired to use it or buy it. Uh, it opens this microwave up to a larger market of people. Um, it's been out for a little over a year now. Oh, that's it. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, and it's and it's it's you know easily available on any of your like Amazon.coms. I got mine from Amazon, uh, but there are other you know smaller businesses or whatever that sell these types of things. Um, if you want to support a smaller business, you can, if you're, if you're not an Amazon person. Um, but yeah, so, so it is easily available. Uh, you don't have to go to a specialty catalog for it. Um, it is one of these things that's just made and a lot of people can use it just by design. So they they, they just designed it in a way that's very useful. Yeah, and, helpful, and you can even so. mount it probably to the wall, right? I mean, my you microwave, is right, it's above the stove, so you can also- you can off the counter right absolutely yep yeah. you absolutely can that sounds so. wonderful i mean 200 doesn't sound too bad i mean for something that's mm -hmm. going to be really helpful to you because by voice is so much easier than just trying we're, to see we're all on a fixed income in some ways like like even people that are working you know in our community a lot of people are on the lower end of the financial you know spectrum even even if you have a, a job a lot of folks have jobs that kind of like sustain their life but it, it's hard to throw 200 bucks at something so make sure you take advantage of some of uh, amazon's payment plans if you go that way um again it's, it's just an easy way to to try to get this thing in your hands um, you do have to pay it off, you know, over time, but sometimes that's better than dropping 200 bucks at once. Um, and a lot of times their payment plans are zero interest. So it's like, it's just like paying for it with cash. Exactly. So, What's your favorite yeah. thing to put in the microwave? Popcorn. Ah, yes. Popcorn. All the time. Popcorn. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so. Well, how do you do your popcorn? Because I, I have a popcorn popper. It's a separate device. I'd like to get rid yeah. of that. Just use one thing. Yes. Put a bowl or with something on it, or you can get uh, microwavable popcorn. It, it, it's just oh. it, it looks like a flat bag. Yeah. Um, and, and and I think there are ways to do uh, air pop in in the microwave. I think there are like certain devices that you can put your air pop into, like the kernels. You can put them into, and and use the microwave. But for me, I do the easy kind of take a bag of popcorn, stick it in there, 
and tell my a lady to to microwave some popcorn and and it gets done pretty quickly you can you hear have it an android though what's what are you gonna do oh you I, so that has nothing to do with it if you if you have an android you can still use your your echo if you want to oh, yeah. you don't have you don't you don't have to have an iphone for the echo okay good that's yep. good you're just using your voice it's connected to your internet and and it works yeah you have to have the internet okay alan do you have any questions or comments well, I just got to say that I love that microwave. That is wonderful. Mine is not tactile. I've had to put a couple of little button things on it, raised dot things on mine. I like that idea. And you already asked my question, could I mount it to my cabinet? Uh, I'd have to check into that. Uh, that looks pretty good. Yeah, you're going to mount it to the wall. <laughs> Don't mount it to your cabinet. <laughs> you're going to mount it to the wall, yeah. So you have, well, I see yours. I see yours now. Yeah, that's pretty. That uh, yeah, fit. you can probably see mine in the background in there. Yeah, this could fit in there. I think it's, he said it, Bill said it was the same dimensions. It looks like it. Uh, I think mine goes all the way over a 30 inch stove, is it? 36, yeah. 36. What, the whatever reason. the standard width of a stove. The only reason I know they had my kitchen done, I remember that. You learn a yeah, lot when you do like a kitchen. That. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, where's, where'd Bill go? Is Bill still there? Because we have another exciting appliance. Guys, you got to hear about this oven. Uh, there he is. Hi. Again. All right. And Thanks. right in front of us, that. right in front of us right now. Thank you guys for, for talking while I got this set up. Uh, this is good timing. We did great. I think we're a good team. Uh, <laughs> But I, this appliance. tell us what the name I, of it is and everything I've about got, it. I've got I've got in front of me the Tovala Smart Oven. Okay. Um and, and it's exactly what it sounds like. So it's it's a convection oven. It is not a microwave, although it looks like it, it's like a larger size, like a like a toaster oven. And I'm gonna describe it for those of you who aren't able to see it. Uh but if you're looking at the screen in front of you right now, you've got the Tovala Smart Oven. The controls are in the same location as your um the controls are in the same location as as your microwave they're on the right hand side on the front panel um the controls are again tactile very easy to use no touch screens nothing to get you lost with with tovala right but it is not a microwave it is a convection oven uh you have to put about eight ounces of water into the little spout that's on top uh, and what happens is, uh, it, it again, it uses heat to cook like anything else would, but it's not a microwave, so it's not going to be done in 60 seconds. Um, it is similar to the oven that you use in your kitchen, like your, your traditional oven. So let's go over some of the controls really quickly. Um, so you have several different options here. There's, there's a, a control on, on near the top, right underneath the uh, barcode scanner. Um, there's a control panel on top that has uh, buttons that look kind of like a, like a clock, right? So at 12 o'clock, you have the button that lets you access your barcode reader. And I'm gonna talk about that near the end, right? The next button is your bake button at one o'clock or so, one to two o'clock. And it has a dot on it, like a physical dot that you can feel. So you don't have to even go marking this thing if you don't, if you don't want to. Uh, then you have beneath that, by the four and five o'clock position, you would have your broil button. Underneath that at the very bottom at six o'clock is your reheat button. So if you have something that you wanna reheat, you can use that button. Uh, from seven to eight o'clock on the bottom left, of this panel is uh, steam. And then top left, which would be like 10 to 11 o'clock is your, um, let's see, there's, there's one other button. Oh my God, I just drew a blank. Uh, but, but there's one other button right above steam. And I believe that is your, um, your, your toast button. All right, so you can you can use this thing as a toaster as well. Sorry about that. Uh, so if I wanted, for example, to reheat something, I would press the button at six o'clock, which is your reheat button, and it will beep when I press it. So I'm going to be quiet so you can hear it. There it is, and then you would press the start button at the bottom. 
all right? And it would start your microwave and you hear it running. You hear that sound that, that it's actually running. Let me go ahead and stop it. So that's your, your dial on top. Underneath that, you have your temperature uh, buttons. So it's a plus minus, right? So the plus is on the right, the minus is on the left. It's, a, it's again, in a circular design. Uh, you can feel a dot on each one of them. So right in the center of the plus button, there's a dot. Right in the center of the minus button, there's a dot. This thing will start at 375 degrees. You can press the plus on, on your temperature and it would raise it to 400. So it would go up by 25 degrees. If you press the minus, it will go down by 25 degrees. And then right below that is a similar control, again, plus and minus for the time, for how many minutes you want to set your oven for. Uh, so plus would set it up by a minute, minus would set it down by a minute. So if you want to set it for 10 minutes, you would press it 10 times up. In other words, press the plus right. one. Yes, okay. exactly. Last control is at the very bottom. It looks like a rocker switch that goes up and down. The top is your start button. The bottom is your stop button. And that is it. So if I wanted to bake, to cook something on bake for 10 minutes, I would first hit the bake button on top, then add temperature. So for how many, how much temperature you want. So let's say it's uh, 375 degrees. We would just leave it as is. And at the bottom for your time, you would add 10 minutes to it by pressing the plus button until you know you you counted 10 times right 10 beeps would give you 10 minutes right mm -hmm. the other way that you can control this thing and obviously sorry at the end you would press the start button at the bottom but the other way you can control this thing is by using the app there's an app that's available for android and available for iphone uh you can start your oven and stop your oven with the app because this thing is going to be paired to your wi-fi it'll be on your internet so you can start and stop it with the app. And, and you can do a lot more than that. You can find recipes in the app of something that you wanna cook. Like we're gonna be doing chicken and vegetables today. Uh, there is an app that you can use to turn that on. Uh, when you find the recipe, there'll be a cook button right there on the app and you'll press the cook button uh, and it will immediately send the instructions to your oven. And all you have to do is be here physically to hit the start button and your oven will begin cooking. And we're gonna do that in just a second. We're gonna cook some Can chicken. Can for just a minute? Sure, absolutely. I wanted to ask about that because on the app, they don't have, they're probably working on it, is the feature where you could set the temperature, you could set if you wanna bake or broil or roast or whatever, right? No, you, you can actually you can actually do that as well. You can, oh, you you can, can? do that in addition to finding a recipe. Yeah, I think they've added, yeah, they've added it. So, so what'll happen is you'll go into the cook tab of your app and in there, there'll be an option where you can, you can cook something, uh, you know, manually, like you can just set your oven. So, so there'll be like a recipe, there'll be a recipe that you can build yourself. And then again, when you're done, you press the cook button it sends the instructions to your oven, like how much time, how much, you know, how much on bake, how much on broil. Uh, and then what ends up happening is you have to be here physically again to press the start button. You cannot start the oven from work. Like, like if you're at work and you um, want to start the thing cooking. Yeah. For, as, as a safety precaution, you have to physically be here to press the button, but you can uh, set the oven from any room in your house, for example, as long as you get here to press the start button, you'll you'll be fine. We can okay? have someone so, else press it. Or, or you can have somebody else yeah. press the start button. Absolutely. You absolutely can yeah. do that. Just make sure that they're familiar with all the safety right. uh, stuff on this thing. So what I'm going to do now is I've got some chicken. I've got chicken breast ready to go here. And I'm going to go ahead and grab it. And I'm going to put it in the oven. There we go. It's on a, it's on a pan, tray. What kind of pan? Do they supply pans for that, or you could they get do. any kind of pan? They they absolutely do. They supply pans for it, but you can get any kind of any kind of pan. Mine is a tray with some aluminum foil on it. Uh, I've got the chicken breast ready to go, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the button on my app. Let me get this thing moving. Hold on one second. We got like earbuds in here. There you go. So you heard it start. 
So now, like I said, all I have to do is be here to press the start button. Mm -hmm. And there it is. You heard it start. Right. And if I be quiet, if I'm quiet, which is rare, <laughs> you can hear it hopefully cooking. Job, by the way. You're doing a great you can, job. You can hear it cooking in the background. All right. You can hear the oven working. I can't I smell hope. it yet. I hope. Yeah, no, nope, no, nope, not yet. It hasn't cooked yet. You can't smell it until it really starts cooking. But again, it's not a microwave. So this thing is going to take about 20 minutes or so uh, before it's done. And At least. Uh, what temperature do you set it for? We set, well, there's a recipe built into it. There was there was there was a recipe for chicken and vegetables built built into the Tavala smart oven. So we we use that. Um, and just in a, in a in a few minutes, I'm gonna throw a uh, I'm gonna throw these vegetables in the microwave. Right. We need about. I'm a little curious about one thing though. Is there sure. any way that could be voice controlled? Can you control the apps on your phone uh, with voice? You, you can open the app with your voice, but no, it, it doesn't have voice control. Okay. okay. It doesn't have voice control. You need, to, you need to be able to use the app or, again, just remember, there's a manual way to do it, too. If you're not comfortable using yeah. your phone, if you're not comfortable using an iPad, if you're not comfortable on Android, if you just want to use this thing to cook your meals, uh, what will happen is you will, you will just go to the, the unit itself. You'll come to the device here and you'll use the buttons on it to be able to, to start and stop it and, and set it to the right temperatures and all that kind of stuff. And um, all those tactile features that you mentioned, those are mm -hmm. built in, those are part of the oven as it comes from the factory forever. Yeah, we, we don't have to do anything to make them to make them accessible. They're already, they're oh, buttons wonderful. that are, yeah, they're buttons that are built onto the oven. If you That's want a full description, if you want a an, like completely full description of the Tovala Smart Oven, uh, I do a show called The Field of Vision, and we've done several podcasts on maintaining it, cleaning it, uh, working all the controls. So if you want a full rundown of how that works, we, don't, we didn't have enough time to do it here today, uh, but you can go grab The Field of Vision and you can listen to it for yourself and start and stop it as you go. Um, it, it's a, I think we did a pretty good job with it. Mm -hmm. You Very also, good. I heard from your podcast, you also described, I, I think, a real oven, a regular size, like the one that this one is sitting in. Yeah, one, one of the things that I've done is, because when you start losing your vision, a lot of people get very scared to do some of the things that they used to do. They, they get nervous, especially around uh, hot ovens in the kitchen and stuff like that. So I actually went in and did a complete, like, overview of what the inside of your oven is, is looks like because it's not just open space a lot of people don't really think about it very much but all of your like coils all of the cooking stuff that 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 heats it up uh the way that you adjust trays to to line them up with the little slats on the sides of the oven so we went in there and did like a full description a full kind of thing and people liked it i didn't think people would like it but people liked the fact that I went in there and was very detailed about what the inside of your oven really looks like and how it works and, and, and what to be afraid of and what to be careful, what to not be so afraid of. Um, so yeah, we did that and, and it, was, it was a lot of fun uh, and it got really good reviews. I got good feedback from it. And again, I didn't expect it. I expected people to be like, well, Bill, we know what an oven is. We're not stupid, <laughs> right? But no, people actually enjoyed that because, because very often, uh, People don't take the time to kind of get that description. You know, people don't take the time to give it or to, or to get that description. So um, I'm really glad that we were able to do that for people. So, yeah, that, that's what part are of the what advantages, did. Bill. What are the advantages? I'm not real clear over using this versus a regular oven. I don't want you to lose any sales, but I'm still not. No, well, yeah, I'm not. I'm not selling it. <laughs> I'm not selling I, it. This is not. I, I, it, I'm not yeah. clear on why, yeah. what the advantage of this versus the oven, other than I like the fact that it's more, it's higher up. You don't have to bend over and the knobs are not, some, some ovens and knobs are just in the back. Yeah. And so, so like my, my oven that I have here that we're working in uh, has the buttons that are, that are on the yeah. back and you have to reach over mm -hmm. these hot, you know, if, if you have something on the burners, especially, uh, you've got to reach over them and, and you feel the heat on your forearms. Some people get really nervous with that type of stuff. The thing, the reason I would use this is because it's very accessible. It's very easy to use. It does its job. 
Um, that, that's not saying you can't use your regular oven for some things too. Like if you're making something much bigger, um, you can actually, you're not going to use the Tovala oven because it's not, it's not as big as, as a, a normal size oven. Um, for, for a few people, if you're just going to make like, like a quick meal uh, or reheat something or whatever, it's very, very good. And that, that's why I would use it over, over an actual oven is the accessibility of it. Uh, the fact that it cooks really well. And it's, it's not a giant thing to have to maintain afterwards. Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's easy to clean. Uh, there is a self-cleaning feature on it as well. Oh, so, that's great. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. 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 So it's really cool. Um, if you buy it directly from the company, you can buy it outright if you want. And I believe it's either $250 or $300, depending on when you're watching this. It might be on special, so they might knock a few dollars off. Uh, I believe the list price is like 300 bucks. Anyway, um, what you can do is uh, have the, the company send you some meals. Uh, if you agree to six weeks within six months of meals, uh, you get the oven a lot cheaper. I think it's like $50 or something like that. And so what it, what it is, is uh, you can order meals directly from the company. It's almost like some of the other companies that send you fresh meals um, they will send you a box that has, it's packed with ice and stuff and you can open it. They've got meals in there. Uh, they have things, any, they have chicken, pork, steak, vegetables, uh, all sorts of different meals that you can choose each week. And all you're committing to is six weeks within six months. So you don't have to get it six weeks in a row. You can get it a week, then wait a month, get it another week, wait a month. And you can get as little as four meals each week. So it's not like they're making you get, you know, seven days worth of meals. They're not doing that. It's like four meals within uh, within that week. And you're committing to six weeks in six months. You have six months to do it. So there That's you go. Terrific. That's yeah. Terrific. And, and they send you. Yeah, they send it to you. And again, I'm not a sales guy. I'm not I'm not making any money off of this. This isn't I'm not trying to sell you guys anything. If you. If you purchase it, that's great. If you don't, that's great too. It's just something for your for your knowledge and and you know when, whenever you think about it, it, should be in your memory bank that they are making things that are uh, pretty accessible. So there you go. My guess is that that Tavala Smart Oven, being much smaller, is probably a lot like the uh, oven, the toaster oven that I have, in that it uses a lot less electricity. And because of that, it also tends to heat up my apartment less, which means I use less electricity to cool it back off again, too, right? <laughs> yeah, th this will heat up the, the immediate area around it in your kitchen. It's not going to heat up. It's not going to heat up a room at all. It's, it'll, it'll it's not going to heat it up like the big oven does. No, no, not at all. Not at all. It well. heats up the, the, the immediate area around here. Um, and also before you get one, make sure you check out the, the podcast that we did on the, uh, the safety features of it. So that way you can set it up properly. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. we still right. have a few minutes yet before that's done. And perhaps this would be a good time to break in with a little message about our Cooking Without Looking TV show fundraiser. If you've always wanted one of our official Cooking Without Looking TV show aprons of your very own, just like the one that's here, that, that's, well, anyway, here's your chance. Just go to our website at www.cookingwithoutlookingtv.wordpress.com. Then, Click on the Vision World Foundation link at the top of the page. Your donation of any amount helps us to create this show and our podcast, which help us carry out our mission of changing the way we see blindness. Yay. Yes, that's your line, Annette. Thank you. Thank you. I still, though, I still want to ask him one more question. All right. Let me just finish this for just a second. Your support also gives you a chance to win one of our <laughs> aprons. Yay. And you as many times as you like. Thank you. And now, Annette. Oh, you've got one on, too. Here's yeah. my apron. I'm sorry. You can't see it when I'm sitting, but I love them because they have pockets. <laughs> they're so convenient, and they're very comfortable. 
And anyway, Bill, I wanted to ask you your opinion. First of all, I love that the, the knobs or the buttons are in the front. I went out looking for an oven when I did my kitchen and seriously, all the, and it's all um, digital. Everything was in the back. And I literally sometimes have to put, I put my head in there in the oven. I have to make sure none of the burners are on just to see how to set it. You know, I never got the dots. I need to get those dots for the, for the knobs anyway. But I love that that has all the buttons in the front that makes it easier. But I oh, wanted yeah. to know in your opinion, um, which one do you think is, is better for the visually impaired and blind? You probably say they have different uses, but I just wanted to get your opinion um, on that and the appliance that you have, which one you think is better for the visually impaired, which one's better for the blind or what, if you have an opinion. Between these two? Yes, sir. So uh, what I always do when I when I showcase anything, one of the requirements is that I want it to be able to work for everyone, right? So as, or, or at least for as many people as possible. So work for the blind, work for visually impaired. Um, they're, they're, both, they're both very usable and accessible by, by both you know, visually impaired people and people who are blind. Um, what, what I will say is like, which one's better um, it really depends on what you're trying to do. Again, like whenever I demo anything or show people something, there's not a one size fits all. Like I, I'm never going to be able to say all blind people should be able to use this or all visually impaired people should be able to use that. It, it really, I try to find a way to make anything that I show as accessible as possible uh, and, and work for, for both groups and any, any people in, in, in those groups. Right. So um, the, the key to, rehabilitation and being a, a good specialist is to not take one device and try to pawn it off on everyone, whether they can use it or not. The, the key is to find the device that works for that person. Maybe you're a person that just likes eating quick and easy frozen meals. Then in that case, I would probably recommend a microwave. Maybe you're a person that likes to take a little bit more time and use use other ingredients to make something that tastes really good and you know maybe something that's healthier for you uh then the tovala would be a good choice for that so it really depends on the person's lifestyle it depends on what you're wanting to do uh personally if you can afford it i would try to get both of them uh but i understand again that's not a possibility for some people because it, you know money is tight uh but i i definitely you know, again, there's not a one answer to that. Uh, I like both of them for different reasons. Um, and so I would definitely recommend like, you know, try one out. And if, if it works for you, that's great. You can wait a while and maybe get, get the second one. Maybe there'll be a better one out by the time you're ready to buy it. You know what I mean? So, so that's, yeah, that's just I know what opinion. you mean. Just like computers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, let's just like see. computers, just like yeah. computers, like in yeah. three months, you won't see the same model that you see right now in the exactly. store. So, exactly. yeah. so let's see, you're talking so highly of this oven. Is it finished now? Is that chicken done or you, we need you, to wait a long, long A little bit longer, but you will, and you can look on the app if you want to, and it'll tell, it'll have a countdown for you. Uh, the, 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 there is a, there is a visual countdown on, it is not, again, it's not a touch screen or anything like that, but there is a little visual countdown on the device itself. Um, I will tell you that uh, we're close and I've already, uh, while Alan was talking, I threw some frozen vegetables into the microwave so that I can demonstrate it for you guys. Uh, okay. So the, the bag is in there. It's, it's off camera, but guess what? We're not going to use any buttons to, to control it. I'm just going to use my voice, right? So Alexa, microwave for six minutes. Microwaving for six minutes. And there it is. I love the, that. The, the, the chef of the future, as they used to yes. say on the, honey, on, on the honeymooners. I'm the chef of the future. Uh, but no, so it is, if you can hear the microwave in the background. Not really. You, you can actually hear, well, where I'm standing, I can hear both devices running at the same time. So uh, yeah, we're, we're basically ready to go uh, with chicken in the oven vegetables and the like frozen it's a bag of frozen vegetables i just got them at the at the grocery store they're just like easy to cook frozen veggies um so yeah they're they're all in there and they're they're working and at the end the oven is going to give you a tone when it's done it's going to actually uh make a, a couple of beeps almost like a little chime 
uh, the microwave will be done as well. So how much, in, in, time, on the, how much time left on the chicken? Uh, let me double check real quick. Now check your chicken. One second. Yep. <laughs> Well, in the meantime, you know, I just want to thank you, Bill, for all your great and helpful information. We all really appreciate it so much. Thank and you. And we've got we've got about five minutes on each thing, by okay. the way. So I, I timed it I, I, by accident. I timed it really well. So I'm kind of curious, yes. what all went into the pan that went into the uh, oven with the chicken? Uh, so the chicken, the chicken was seasoned. I used some uh, some some kicking chicken, chicken. Uh, and then it's on some. It, it, it's it's being cooked. Uh, it's on uh, foil, and so it's being basically uh, like on aluminum foil. Yeah, you don't want to wash any pans. Did you well, coat it with oil or anything like that? Uh, Non-stick spray. Yeah, the spray, cooking spray. Okay, you sprayed it with oil. Yep. Okay. Yep. So it it's in there now, and uh, like I said, you know, we've got we got less than four minutes at this point, uh, and it should be done. Okay, Do, you were saying you put the foil bill on there. What's the reason? Just to keep it clean, so it's easier. Well, to, to keep it to keep it clean, and also to make sure it doesn't stick to to the okay. the tray that it's on. It's on a pan. It's a tray. Um, so let me tell you, the the Tavala Smart Oven comes with the following, and I, and I know I'm I'm saying this like a sales guy. I'm not a sales guy. I don't nothing. I'm I'm getting nothing from the company. Um, <laughs> but it comes it comes with a uh, a tray that you can cook stuff on it comes with the rack that the tray sits on so similar like an to a toaster oven or an oven uh it comes with that that wire uh rack that your 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 item sits on it comes with a large measuring cup so you can add water to it we talked about earlier on the spout that you could you could you could put in water so that because it uses steam to to cook um so it needs water for the to make the steam but yeah so it comes with a uh, measuring cup that you use uh, the newer ones now are coming with an air fry basket, which is which is pretty cool. Some people like the air fry basket. Some people do not like the air fry basket. Uh, I'm one of those people that's kind of like in the middle. Like the food tastes good when it's when it's air fried, um, but I I don't know if if it's the right option for this particular oven. But it comes with it for free if you want to try it out. Uh, it also comes with. Um, the 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 drip pan that goes on the bottom so that way no water gets out uh so yeah it's a it's a it's a nice little device it's a nice little device it, it comes with a lot of the things that you need and you can also order extra if you want the specific pan or, or tray that this comes with and i'm using the word pan i don't mean to uh the tray that it comes with if you want extras they will sell those to you i think they're about 12 bucks or something like that um so you can get extra trays if you want uh, so or you, you can Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, please. It's okay. Or, or you can use your own. You can get them from, you know, Walmart, Target, any place, Amazon, wherever they sell uh, cooking stuff. You, you can get your own trays that are sized properly and you can stick them in a Tavala oven and it's not going to hurt it. My no. toaster oven has that same uh, uh, option of air frying with the little basket thing in it. And I've tried it and I kind of got the same opinion. I I think I would rather have a separate air fryer machine. I don't think it works well in that oven. I agree. I agree. It doesn't work. It's not. It's it's something that they tried. But, yeah, um, but something that does fascinate me about that is the water. You can add water. That would keep the food a lot moister, wouldn't it? Yeah, it, it, I don't know about it. It doesn't dry it out for sure. Um, it, it works like again. It, it steams it very well. It doesn't overdo it, and, and it certainly doesn't leave your food dry. So. Yeah, well, that, that sounds interesting. Yeah, but I think it's just a matter of time before they really perfect that air fryer because the new oven that I bought, the regular size, like the one you have, does have an air fryer feature. There's actually a button that says air fryer, and it automatically goes to like 450, and mm -hmm. I have to hit that, then I have to hit start. And I love that feature for my big oven because I could put a lot more potatoes and get French fries a lot more in there than <laughs> in a regular fryer. I'm all about big because I eat a lot of food. So if you're going to make it, make a lot. So you have leftovers. <laughs> exactly. All I'm feeding is me and my dog and she only gets the crumbs that fall on the floor. 
Oh, you're so mean. Give her more than the crumbs. No, oh, I, I, she eats very well. No, sure it's she, not real healthy to let them have human food. I'm ah, sure. there's, there's, there's our microwave oh, all done. Oh, all I done. I heard a little something. The microwave, and and you just heard the chime telling me that the tovala is done. Oh, so I while you guys talk, I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, remove this stuff from the oven and from the microwave and get it ready for presentation. Is that All good? Right. You do right. that. Yes. Let us know. I'm just going to let you know about this great apron opportunity that we have, because before we leave, we want, I want you to remember to go to our website at www.cookingwithoutlooking.tv. I mean, tv.wordpress.com and donate on the link at the top of the page. You can, um, you have a chance to win the cooking without looking apron. I'm going to stand up again. This apron is amazing. It's so cute. So please go ahead and go to the website. You have nothing to lose by trying to win one. Okay. All right. So he's still working on his chicken. And then we're going to switch over to Alan. Well, I also have one of those aprons on. Yeah. You can see that. I love it. <laughs> You're such a great model. Thank you. Thank you. I... <laughs> Can I see mine? I have to sit way far back from the screen and then I can't read the print. So, well, I moved the monitor a little closer to me. I can't move mine because I'm on a little desk. I don't know. Uh, I'm, lu I, I'm lucky I'm even here working this thing. I don't know. Sometimes I, I have got the monitor with my script on it on top of a uh, bar stool chair. Okay. So of me underneath the, my computer is behind it. The one that has the camera that's taking the picture. And I also have another big screen, 35 inch monitor with what's going on i can see your picture right now you are the man you look wonderful you're so sweet you're my biggest fan i don't know if we have any fans out there ellen i'm sure we I do think, i think we do i think I bell's think. definitely a fan bell are you a fan <laughs> well, she's no, sleeping she says, right I'm now i'm a dog <laughs> i'm a dog i'm not a fan <laughs> All right, so let's see. Is he almost there? Hey, he is. Okay. I'm a I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm always a fan. I love you guys. Thank uh, I've been, you. We love you uh, too. Yeah, I've been so so. Here's the finished product right here. Mm. Uh, I got it out of the oven and I put it onto a plate. All right, we got some chicken and veggies right here. I don't know if the camera is gonna gonna yes, get it really well. We yeah, it. yeah. It looks it looks real good and it's and it's and it is it is that done. Mm -hmm. It is done. Uh, the mm -hmm. veggies were done because obviously they were microwaved, so so that's good. Uh, the seasoning was on earlier on when we put the uh, kicking chicken on there, and uh, that's basically it. I mean that that's a finished product here. So nice, uh, and it's it's good enough to eat, right? <laughs> yes, that's your dinner tonight. So yeah, I'll do that. I'll I'll be eating that in just a little while after we go off. So mm -hmm. yeah, there you go. I go bet ahead, Alan. It smells good there. Bill. It does. It smells awesome in here. Fantastic. Annette, do you have any more questions of Bill? Uh, Bill, what's the fastest land animal? <laughs> fastest land animal. Good Lord. Uh, Better not cheetah. say chicken. Is it cheetah? Yay! It is no, cheetah. it is. It is. It is not the. It, it is not the chicken. Not the chicken. Uh, my my or grandparents. Chicken. My grandparents raised uh, chickens on their farm in Greece, and I can tell you. Uh, they are not fast animals and they are not smart animals, but you know, it, they are what <laughs> they are. That's why we eat them. <laughs> there you if go. you're not smart, you're going to be eaten. Yeah, send I this video to PETA. I grew up on a chicken farm too, and you're absolutely right. They are not yeah. smart and they are not fast. But no. they do run around like chickens with their heads cut off when you cut they their heads off. They sure do. Anyway. I didn't do that, by the way. No, no animals were harmed during the presentation of this uh, cooking without looking TV show. Okay, That's let me check true. your shoes out. Are your shoes at, at least, at, at least they weren't harmed uh, uh, by me. Okay. Oh. Yeah. You're great, Bill. You did a well, great job. Thank you. Thank guys. you very much, Bill Bolas. Absolutely. Yeah.
all of you for joining us today on the Cooking Without Looking TV show, Accessible Blind Kitchens Appliances Edition. If you would like today's recipes, as well as past recipes, please go to our website at www.cookingwithoutlookingtv.wordpress.com. Annette? Yeah, sure. And if, if you'd like to enjoy today's show, you want to see it again or see the way Bill demonstrates it so eloquently, you can watch it again or see any past shows going to Cooking Without Looking YouTube channel. Alan? If you teach people who are blind or partially sighted, please feel free to use any of our shows for your students. There is no charge. Many teachers around the country and in more than 70 countries around the world now use our Cooking Without Looking TV show to teach their students. Annette? Also, um, check out our Cooking Without Looking podcast on Spotify. You, you can hear um, Bill's podcast from the other day. It was amazing, talking about his life, talking about his products and, and many other things. Or you can go to Spotify, iHeartRadio, or anywhere that you get your favorite podcasts. We're also available on Alexa enabled uh, devices and Victor Reader. Oh, that's a new one. I haven't heard about that. Victor Reader. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah I've now, heard of that before. Thank you. Uh, if you'd like to donate to Vision World Foundation to help us change the way we see blindness, please go to our website at www.cookingwithoutlookingtv.wordpress. Dot com and click on the link at the top of the page. Or for more information, please call area code 305-200-9104. Yes, and, and look for our next show in April and we'll be on there again. I can't believe it's already April, but it's gonna get warm if you're from up north. Don't worry, it's gonna get warm soon. Um, so I'm Annette Watkins, and behalf, on behalf of Alan Preston and all of us at the Cooking Well Looking Show and Vision World Foundation, thank you and bye for now.